Hey everybody, Will here. Come on out. We're gonna do that review I was telling you about. See you out there in a few seconds. Hey, how you doing? Will here. Just time prepping. How you guys doing this sunny Friday afternoon? Hey, I was just gonna take some pictures of the staff and let you guys see how great it looked, but there's just too much on there just to take the pictures, so we're going to do a little review so you can see everything that I did to the staff. Hold on a second, let me grab it. Alright. As you can see, it's kind of a multi-tool now, not just a walking stick. I'm going to try to watch what I'm doing with it so I don't knock my lights down or anything. But, right here, where the end is, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a hole right there. And there's a spike in the kit I'm going to show you that will go in there. So if you're not just on a hard surface and you're like up in the mountains or whatever and you need a little extra, uh, you know, then uh, it will come in pretty handy. But not only that, this is also hauled out. And if you turn the bumper and you look in there, that is where I put the fire tender for the staff so in order that is uh, cotton uh, soaked in Vaseline it just poop up in flames everybody knows that and to hide it it's in the bumper pretty cool idea I thought because you try to make everything multifunctional and, and that's what I tried to do when I created this survival staff and that's why I call it a survival staff is because there's everything on here can help you survive out in the woods so let's get on on with it is uh, this right here is a uh, duct tape It's actually eight tape and I have uh, wound about I don't know probably uh, 20 yards on there so it's all wrapped around there so that if you're out in the woods and you need to do something, uh, guess what? You have something to repair with or even you could even uh, stick it to itself. You guys know what you can do and make a rope out of it, whatever. But anyway, that's what that is. And then we also have the paracord on the staff itself. And uh, you guys know if you've seen my other, my other walking stick that I did, that underneath uh, the paracord is a survival blanket and that's so that uh, if you can have this survival blanket you can wrap it around yourself and <clears throat> excuse me let me get something to drink here uh, you can wrap it around yourself and uh, keep warm or you could use uh, the bear cord tie it, that off some trees and whatnot and you could make you a tent out of it as well But, I don't have to tell you guys that, because you already know. Okay, I'm better now I can talk. And then, what I did was, I added this little leather piece on there. And it has a uh, big glider in it. Now, if you look at the bottom, it's kind of caved in there. I, I did that. Uh, you can form it when it's wet, so. It's buckled under there. And it's, although it's not showing it right now, is the deal is to put the flint end of it down in the bottom there where that's folded under and that keeps it dry so that when you need it, it's going to really work. So, as you can see, I made it a little shorter than the other one. And it's uh, perfect for just holding on to. But I also have a lanyard built into it where you can put it on your wrist and then hold on to it so if you drop it or something, so you've still got it. And uh, then another thing we have was I added this little S carabiner. Now this isn't something I don't think I would trust to slide down a cable say you want to do some rambling or whatever, you know. But I doubt that it's going to be strong enough to do that. It says right on there, it's only good for 100 pounds, so... I'm a big guy. I'm thinking 100 pounds is not what I weigh, so. But on the carabiner, I have a glow stick, emergency light. I have a whistle. 
And, but, what I like is this whistle comes apart right there. See the O-ring in there. And inside that barrel is a piece of paper and you can write down your name and your phone number and uh, any important information you think that you need to write down in there. So say you're out in the woods and uh, you should fall over or something and somebody comes along and finds you, they know who you are and who to get a hold of. So you want to put some pretty important information in there. Also, I added this little multi-tool. It's a card multi-tool. I keep one in my wallet all the time because you just never know when you're going to be tinkering around with something. So that's what I have. And then over on this side, I added a light to it, a flashlight. Now, this is uh, kind of bright. It's LED. I'm going to turn it on for you guys. It works. But here's what I like about it is it's hinged. So it can be... You know, if you're going down the trail and you catch something out of the corner of your eye, you can turn the light and uh, try to see over there. So that's what I liked about it. And uh, I added it to the uh, stick because you just never know when you need a light. I mean, we're preppers, survivals, survivals, whatever you want to call us. And we all know what all this stuff's for. But uh, if you're anything like me, you want to have more than what you need because you never know what's going to happen. So with that, I added all that stuff. And as you can see, the carabiner is kind of a big thing. So if you wanted to add stuff that you like, hey, that's cool too, you know. And then I have this here. It's a piece of leather. It says survival on it. But uh, it's a dual purpose thing too. Say you get out in the woods and you need to do some hunting or whatever, you know, take that darn thing off, make you a bolo, you know, poof, go game hunting, so, that's a dual purpose, and then, the wax line right here, cause, hey, <coughs> line is pretty important, then inside, I have a, a vial, as you can see, that's bored out, and inside the vial, we have all kinds of little goodies, I have uh, windproof, stormproof matches, I have some fishing line in there, I have some swivels and hooks and weights and uh, a flint for the uh, uh, matches and some wire so you can make a snare or whatever, you know, or you can use it for other things. So, you know, uh, actually this here is going to be hot glued to a button compass which is uh, coming in the mail, so I just don't have it yet, but I will cut this piece up and I will hot glue the compass right onto this and then that will push down in there and that will hold the compass, not only hold the compass in place, but it will top off the top of your stick so it will look kind of nice, you know. So a uh, water filled glow in the dark uh, compass will be right on top. So that's what I've been really busy on. I. I just got the clear coat on it today, and I had to wait for all that to dry and whatnot, but, you know, this is a super stick. It comes in, and uh, uh, I really like it, you know. I've, I've got uh, I've got a few bucks into it, but this is what I want to do, is I want to uh, auction it off to the highest bidder, sort of like. Uh, so, I want to start the bidding uh, so at a number and then go from there because I want to uh, make sure I at least get what I have into it out. And that way I don't kind of get taken or anything, you know. So what my thing is, is the last step I made is for myself. This one here I would like to uh, have, uh, get rid of in a sort of like a bidding situation. So if anybody really likes what it looks like, oh, I forgot to show you, I have it engraved with a wood. This is the emblem, the survivalist emblem for I have a gun and I'm not afraid to use it. So think about that, you know. And so this is a pretty cool stick. It does a lot of stuff and it can still be added on to because the carabiner is big enough. And it's just a super looking stick. So, I'm going to start the opening bid on this thing at $55, and then uh, if you want it, you need to open a bid. Uh, uh, I don't know how I should work it yet, but 
let's start by putting it in the comments maybe that you're interested in it and what your bid would be because I'm gonna have it on Facebook also if you guys uh, don't know but the there's always a link down below is my Facebook page is facebook.com backslash just in time prepping JIT prepping and uh, if you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel do it so do so now okay but leave some comments down below also we have the big drawing coming up and uh, the big drawing is uh, for a hundred and three dollar buck survival bucket uh, all kinds of stuff in there and I've been posting stuff on my Facebook page and when I get to a hundred subscribers I have a app on my phone it's gonna be a number generator everybody's name will be assigned a number and the generator will actually pick the number for me I won't have uh, anything to do with it except to push the button so that it uh, registers a number for me and then whoever's name is associated with that number wins so, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now's the time to do it so that you can get in the list to be uh, drawn. It's uh, about what I have for you for today. I have the review on the stick and uh, the big drawing. And I hope you enjoyed everything. If you give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Share my videos with all your friends because that's how I grow. So, for now, that's all I have, and I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, God bless you, God bless me, and God bless USA. Till next time.